the first member of the band is Aubrey. Yeah, come to daddy, baby. Come to daddy, baby. We're going to take over the world. When Diddy called my yeah. name, I remember stepping forward and... It's probably one of the first times that I've actually gotten a one-on-one -on -one hug from Diddy, and that, for some reason, triggered the whole excitement of, you know, making the band. Juanita! I wanted to run over and just hug him real hard, so that's what I did. And I think he was wanting me to let go. Shannon! I have to say, there was like a fog all around me the whole night. And it was just like that dream. Don't. When I heard Diddy say my name, it was, it was like Cinderella moment. The last member of the group, Andrea. Once he said my name, woo. It was like surreal. Like I was like, this can't be happening now. Like I've been going through this now for so long. It's it's not real. TV. It's your boy Diddy, and we are back. We have to finish what we started. We're gonna make an album, we're gonna sell millions of records, shoot hot videos, and you're gonna love them. If it was only that easy. Before we begin this journey, I thought that I would let the girls go home. They made the band. They need to celebrate, connect with their families, see some people for the last time, because a lot of people gonna change. We're gonna make these girls into superstars. Let's do it! Five, the Desert's Best Mix, Bradley Ryan. I am joined by uh, the lovely and talented Miss Aubrey O'Day. Hey. So if you want to call and uh, say hello to Miss Aubrey, if you missed her, like we all have. I came home to Palm Springs. I teach dance classes. I work at a radio station. I co-host a morning show. Hi. I was just calling to say hi to Aubrey. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Also in Palm Springs is my boyfriend, Jonathan. I am always living on the edge. He was boring before me. We're very opposite, but it also is something that kind of brings me back to my motherly kids, you know, housewife side, which is like this big. I came home to Upland. My mom cooking away. She's making my favorite. It looks kind of funny, but it's really, really good. So I live at home with my parents. I know, I should, but I do. Growing up here, you know, you, I kind of just always been here and stuff, and now it's really different, like going to the mall. Can I take a picture with you? I was just trying to buy a hat. Okay. Now they want, like, my autograph and to talk to me and stuff. It's really weird. I talked to Aubrey this morning. She said I can't have other best friends anymore. Hey, now I live in Atlanta at home with my mom. I wanted to show you this so you could see. My mother put me in dance classes, I think at first, just so she could get some time off so she could get a free Saturday. But then it evolved into something that I can't live without. <laughs> oh, what that goes to the back, like, 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 oh. As an artist, I've always gone by the name D. Woods, and that's what people call me when it's time to work. <laughs> So of the five girls, I'm the one that's married. <laughs> My husband's name is Ron, and we've been married for a little over two years. When I lived in Portland, I was dancing for the Portland Trailblazers, which is the NBA team. I've been dancing for 20 years, and I've been with the Blazers for six seasons. And especially the Blazers was wonderful training, because you're performing in front of thousands of people every night. There's pressure, there's last minute routines. You learn day of game. The whole experience really prepared me for this. I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I grew up there. What is this? Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is great. You, we're proud of you. We're proud of you, and we wanted to let you know. Since Hurricane Katrina hit, I am now in Baltimore. That's where I live now. So let's eat. We're party people, and we're, we're crazy, and that's what we love to do. So Baltimore has now been New Orleans rise or something like that. I don't know. I came for you. 
Oh, that's my song. I always loved singing and dancing, but I just thought that I could never make a career out of it. I'm looking forward to meeting up with the girls. I miss them. I feel like I haven't seen them in forever, so um, I'm really excited to meet up with them and start on a new journey. together. Today's a fun day. I live a hard knock life. Mike. How are you doing, Mr. Wright? No, we just had an incident outside. I had some kids out here with cameras. Who and were they? knew the girls were here. They said they saw them playing volleyball today from across the lake, which is likely, okay, but they had Kansas tags. And how old were these kids? 19. How, how many of them were they? Three. Two guys and a girl. Jeanette called me. She saw them from the house. They parked in front of my house, and they got out, and they walked over, and they were looking through the bushes and stuff. And she called. Well, here's what we need to do. If they get them, we need to bring them back and we need to let them take a picture with the group. Otherwise, they're going to hound them until they get the picture. So let's just get it out the way. All right. All right. And what I don't want them to do is to start running around telling everybody that they're here. So one of the, I'll let them take a picture of them on the deal that they get it done and then that's it. They let the girls in peace. So girls, remember the other day when Johnny had that meeting and he thought it was paparazzi? <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing, but it was actually these little muffins hey taking guys. photos. Come on, come meet the girls. What are your names? Um, Landon, I'm Olivia, Olivia, and Kelly. Kelly, hey. Oh, beautiful. Nice to meet you. Hi, Kelly. Nice to meet you. Kelly. What's up, Landon? Hi, Kelly. Nice oh, you're you. very cute. Oh, you guys are spying on us. <laughs> That's okay. We ended up spying on you guys doing that night. Yeah. To your house. <laughs> yeah. so you guys, so you guys live on the lake? Yeah, we live right across. Oh. You guys working on a few songs? Yeah. How's that going? We got a show on Friday. Oh, really? Yeah, so this is like the last day of practice. Houston, LA, All-Star Weekend. <laughs> you going to watch us on ESPN? <laughs> Ah. <laughs> when you're starting out with a new group, you don't just throw them into the studio. One of the most important things to a successful group is the chemistry. So I'm going to put these girls on the road, let them spend some time together, sleep together. <laughs> in the same room, just so they, they'll know what I'm saying. I'm gonna make sure that they can get along without killing each other before we get to the studio. Wow. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Good. Good. One thing you can't take for granted is we are still an unknown brand new band and there's no reason why we shouldn't go through the same trials and tribulations as any other band starting out. You guys got kind of a leg up because more people know you than a new band, but it doesn't stop the process of learning everything from the ground floor up. Last season, we had the challenge of standing out as an individual. Now, this season, it's all about the group. We have to figure out each other's strengths so we know where to shine, weaknesses so we know where to hold each other up. This is our challenge, is, is a group, is, is a unit. People are going to know that you guys are out and about. So we're going to go to New Orleans, to Don's hometown. Right now, we're trying to work out putting you guys on one of the Mardi Gras floats. Are you guys cool with that? <laughs> I haven't been back to New Orleans since the hurricane, and um, I don't know, I'm, I'm scared to see it. It's going to be a process, but it's going to be fun because you guys are now a group. So I'm really excited to let the girls get the flavor of New Orleans, but then I'm anxious because, I, because I've heard so many stories about it. Go to work. So, we'll see. All the hits B97, I'm Stevie G. And I'm Teapot. Along with the Making the Band 3 Band. Yeah. When we make love, the way our bodies touch, I just can't get enough. It's too soon when it's over. I can't stop my knees, stop them from shaking. What he does to me, he knows just what I need. Yeah. Get 
in? We just, we just got, got in, in. yeah. Oh, We're I actually going to be on one of the floats tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah, really? Really? excited about that. Arthur. What else are you guys planning on doing while you're here? Um, well, Don's going to be showing us around. What's your plan on showing him, Don? I will show them what my mom's saying Sisqui used to be and stuff. I just wanted them to you know, know me better. The five of us have never been a group together. We don't really know each other that well, so it's a very new learning experience. We have to learn each other's personalities and learn each other as a group now. First time we've really been at a public event, just hanging out together as a group. You know, we're all taking it very differently. I know Shannon's much more reserved and shy. And I'm the same way. I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. Okay, like you know, Juanita and Arby are much more. just coming right up on me and I'm usually like yeah okay <laughs> we signed autographs took pictures and showing some love to the big easy all of us are tired ready to go home but little miss Aubrey over there is ready to keep going yeah. I'm gonna like it here <laughs> Party, 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 party the whole time. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh! How much did you drink? <laughs> it's like we can focus yourself in the eye. Today we're going to see different spots of New Orleans that I haven't seen because I haven't been back since the hurricane. The best way to go is just take St. Charles. She's going to show us places where she grew up. I think we're all kind of preparing ourselves for maybe how Don will react. Oh Lord, I'm coming home. Been so long, I've gone away. But this is higher it's land. Right it's higher land and it's higher money. This is where I was born. I like my whole life is the east. So it's middle class neighborhood. Middle class, yeah, not poor. It's middle class. Oh my god. It ain't the same no more. The plan done changed on me. a dancing school that's what she does on the side besides teaching we pour ourselves into the dancing school my dad was always there my mom was always there and I grew up there like that you okay it was hard for me to see my mom see it because it was her first time back The water was so high. Look how high the water was. The mirrors, everything fell off. Everything. That's the line of the water. I'm sorry, y'all. This is my mom. I'm I know. You have to tell me. I know everybody. I can't even imagine. I can't even you know, grasp what that would be like to see your family's life, like, just not there anymore. It's, it was very, you know, hard and almost, like, intruding to stand in there. Yeah, ladies, I'm sorry. Oh, God, I, would, I wish it would have been running and y'all could have saw how beautiful the girls are. Seeing the dancing school, to me, was worse than seeing my home destroyed because that dance school is the reason why I made this band. Like, that helped me get to this point, and it's no longer there. Like, we lived here, like, you know what I mean? Like, we lived here. And it's just hard because 
I don't have that place anymore. One of the things I want to do while I'm here is to go see my high school. Wow. I am getting that like little nervous feeling in my tummy like, like when like, I used to have to go to high school. school yeah. like, I never saw the principal's office. Oh, I did. <laughs> I heard that it was one of the first schools to open after Hurricane Katrina, and I'm very proud of that. Aww. How are you? Child right here. How's oh. everything been going? Kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Katrina World. Um, huh? Since Katrina hit, when you go there, you realize it's still happening to these people every single day. Like they're still dealing with it. It's a whole lot different because you have to worry about the same things, but you have to worry about a lot of a lot of sadness and kids, a mm. lot of loss. It makes you question tons of things. Where's the help? Where's the aid? Why aren't things being done to make the situation better? Well, Miss Hall, I um I wanted to tell you that uh. On behalf of the group, we decided to donate $5,000 to the school and because I understand what you're going through and this was my memories. We tried to do what we could do to help out. We might not have much, but, you know, any little bit counts. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean it. You don't know. You don't know how good it'll be. Thank you so much. <laughs> my love. Oh. It'll make a difference, and I mean it. We're gonna be in the King Arthur Parade. We're the Grand Marshals, and Dawn's so excited to share this with us. You have to work for the big beads. What are you going to do for the big beads? Let me see you now. Yeah. <laughs> you got to work hard for the big You have to work hard for them. We do a little shaky shake for a bead. We need some boxers. Yeah, look at we got yeah. some for the big beads. Yeah. Oh, wait now. People, for some beads? Thank you. so glad the girls came because I think that was the best time we ever had together. It was so good to know that from now on I get to be with these girls because these are the four best girls that I could ever pick to be in the band and they're my sisters and I'm so excited and the world's not ready for what we're about to bring them. I love y'all. I'm so glad y'all have fun. very important in order to be a superstar group that you learn the art of the live performance the live show any superstar is a great live performer madonna michael jackson diddy gotta make sure that these girls are great live performers so i'm going to send them down to the all-star game in houston it's a great place for them to have their first show but before they do that i got them down in johnny's compound rehearsal is a must we got some stuff in front of us, right? Yeah. We made a band, so now we got to make history. Mm -hmm. That's where we at. We That's got three it. songs, 20 minutes, the NBA VIP All-Star Party. Um, that's a lot, especially since it's our first thing out the gate after choosing you guys. We're excited but a little scared. If we do bad or we don't perform at our best, we are representing ourselves in front of a very big crowd and in, fr in front of very important people. This is a lot of pressure because it's the first time we're going to be on stage together as the group. 
It's hard to become a group overnight. We can't vibe off of each other just automatically. It's going to take us a while. We got to get in there, rock the crowd, and let this industry know that we're here to stay and not play any games. Here we go. Five, six, and seven, eight. Boom, 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 For me, for everything that you ever thought you could be. Love is getting hot tonight. Body sweating left and right. We're moving and the feeling's right. Dance no. to the early light. Dance into the early light, you two. Okay. Pay attention. It's so hard. We're not all in the same counts. We look a mess. We're trying to make it work, but it's not working. Now we're moving. We're really moving. I'm feeling him and it's kind of confusing. Where's the sound? Come on. This is me trying to hold my scream in. Big sound. Okay, here we go. Come on, something. Something. Ah, no. All right, so see how you guys forget that quick? That's the problem with what's happening. The disconnect. The concentration has to be much more intense than when you were trying to make the band. You, know. you got to get that competition mentality out. But You're not competitors. It. You're competitors against what's already out there. That's crazy. Desperado and the cowgirls. <laughs> Trying to find something for our wardrobe for this performance. It's a little difficult. There's five different girls with five different styles, and we want to look good collectively. We're forced to make do with what we can come up with in the Orlando mall. <laughs> we were shopping on Orlando, and like, enough said, you know what I mean? Diddy wants me to turn on the eye chat. Now, all of a sudden, Johnny is going to point this little camera at us for Diddy so he can judge our appearance. Don. Don, step it up. Did he want it to see the wardrobe? And I'm a little nervous. Come on, Phil, make it long. Phil, make it long. Baby, they are giving you Orlando Mall, without a doubt. As soon as I saw it, I sent the 911. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> Aubrey looks like someone shaved the lamb and put it on her. She has like a little dog on her. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, to what? Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, the wardrobe looks a mess. <laughs> yeah, we tried. Get a stylist. What do you want to wear? Something fly. Cavalli or Sean? Oh. Sean, yeah. think first. Yeah, I'm okay. baby. <laughs> you gotta see what Nita does. Hand out of the boot. Did <laughs> Debbie do Dallas? <laughs> Wonder what's your stomach looking like? For real, are you feeling a little sick? It's no secret, I'm built differently than these other girls. And if he didn't see that before, he really sees it now because it's one against four. I'm a thick girl on the bottom. I'm, I'm working out, I'm running. I always feel thick next to these skinny chicks. You're like a burger away. D, where's you okay? This is not a new struggle for me. This has been a lifelong thing. It's genetics. <laughs> but here's the deal. You in a group. I'm in a group with other skinny chicks, so it's like... But that's all right. They didn't put a group together of skinny chicks. They put a group together of talented people. You just be you, okay? It's all that matters. It's what you bring here and what you bring here and what the talent that you bring to this group that makes you one of the five. And that's why we picked you. We're in Houston today for our very first performance tonight, the NBA All-Star Weekend. There's no more excuses. The urgency of us Hitting it is up there. I mean, we have to get it now.
best piece of advice. It feels like you're five individuals. And every time you come to the front, you're on fire. And then when you leak back into the movie, you're going into this zone. You understand what I'm saying? You guys got to connect to this entire show. It's still too separate. When you have a little amount of time and someone's pushing you and pushing you, sometimes it is an emotional situation. Talk too much. It's everything, you know, you know, I don't want to disappoint. I feel like yeah, it's harder now because it's a group. Yeah. So if you mess up, you affect them. And no, I, I feel you. Yeah. Yeah, I get and so it's just like, too. it's a big fear of disappointment and failure. I think that's, I'm always afraid of that too, like messing up and like holding everyone else back. But I think until we let that go, that fear of that, are we going to be better at what we do? Because we have to mess up to, to get better. Like nobody does something and like right. they're perfect at what they do. The one issue that we had was the wardrobe. You guys spoke to Diddy. Diddy told you he was going to come through. And outside, you have three stylists with like two big suitcases of clothing. So with all that said... Good afternoon, ladies. How are you? Thank you so much for coming. Oh, we're happy to be here. Finally, Diddy sent us a wardrobe stylist. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, because we cannot look a hot mess on stage. Trunks of shoes and clothes and everything to choose from. It was really nice. Can I have it like that? I love it like that. You got it like that. Can I have it like that? I love that you have that. Can I have it like that? You got it like that. Can I have it like that? You got it like that. I'm not really that picky when it comes to wardrobe, but obviously I want to look good on stage. Who doesn't? That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Isn't that enough for you? I can't afford that. When they were dressing us. It's just taking a little longer. What about that green top that they had on the other girl? I'm not mad if she's starting to be just something on that bottom. Exactly. Is she's bottom up? Yeah. Because she's got those over thighs. One is most fit out of all of us. She's got, you know, she's got body. She's got some, you know, she's got a butt on her. It's something that we all wish we had and we don't. You have 20 people in the room and you're picking at her. That's hard to take. That's fine. Let me squeeze them up. It's all good in the hood. It is kind of too tight here. I don't like those shorts okay. at the back. And you know, I don't, I don't think you're a really You look too muscular. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What aren't you comfortable about? Something looks like it's bothering you. So I need to know if you really feel right now like something's not right, let's go. Just say what it is. I think I'm just not feeling like popping just like hot. It really brought me back to that younger one either where I would try to squeeze myself into some jeans that I can't wear or try to starve myself. That's self-hatred. Do you like that green shirt? I just don't feel like my performance outfit is a good look. Wear whatever you She's like the most, the Juanita, because the pink top. BB top that she got. That pink top looks real good. You know what I'm saying? If you gonna, if you gonna rock it, I would rather you, you know what I'm saying? If you look prettier and gorgeous in that pink, yeah, like, be you. Mm -hmm. See what I'm, I'm trying to shake off my feelings. I need to transition to the next moment, which is the show. Let me see. Got yeah, the pink one. That's beautiful. Juanita's a fighter, and there are, sure are moments that are going to throw her, but she'll bounce right back. You guys look so pretty. That's great, Mom. <laughs> what it takes the show is easy it's nothing you're gonna kill it in their first live performances diddy anointed them a band ladies and gentlemen make some noise the girls that make it a band three we'll see this is 
say it tonight's night. It's our very first show, and I'm excited. I'm feeling a little numb right about now. We're gonna knock them dead. In their first live performance since Diddy anointed them a band, ladies and gentlemen, the girls to make it a band three. It's just not as hopping as I just was thinking it might be. Hey, everybody. My name's Shannon, and I come to all of you from the great Northwest. I'm an Aries. Let's hear it for the Aries out there. My name is Dawn, and I'm from New Orleans. I like things hot and spicy because that's how we do it down south, okay? Looking out in the crowd, a lot of people were still going about what they're usually doing. Hi, my name's Andrea, and uh, I'm a cancer. I want all y'all to remember that uh, big things come in small packages. Yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Aubrey, a.k.a. Aubrella. I want to know something, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Y'all, where y'all at? Mercury Room. How y'all doing tonight? All right. My name is D Woods. I live in the ATL, and where I'm from, the brothers like us to be. You figure it out. <laughs> I didn't hide or apologize for the fact that I am the way that I am. I didn't let it defeat me. All right, H-Town, let's keep it moving. Keep the energy up. Come on. that stage, y'all was off of there real quick, it wasn't a, a roaring of applause, y'all was all just doing your, your assignments, but y'all wasn't performing together, because you tried all night. I never want to see y'all trying to be something, trying to overly do something, or, or trying to make people like you. Aubrey, don't yo, 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 say the black talk for the black girl. Be you. When you, I met you, you wasn't yo, yo, yoing. Talk the way you talk. I'm not going to be saying, oh, your show is amazing. It was amazing. I'm not going to talk like a white girl. 
So you don't talk like a black guy, all right? Let's not do that no more. Don't change who y'all are. I love who y'all are. I don't have nothing I want to change about your personalities. I don't want to be a dream. I don't want to be Destiny's child. I want y'all to be y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm excited. We got a lot of work to do. And I'm excited for that. I just hope y'all are for the challenge. Y'all going to get to the point of greatness. It was not perfect, but that's a learning experience. Will it be better next time? Hell yes. New beautiful house. If I forget where my bed is, I just have to look. Oh, that's my bed. That's my face. It's like a huge closet of clothes. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I could have a place like this of my own in New York. This is exactly what it would look like. I'm so excited that we have a big bed this time because, you know, I was dying and those other ones had to move over because, you know, I moved too much. Hello? Hello? As we're all settling in, we hear a little ring from our eye chat. What up? Hey. And it's Diddy. How do you like the house? Nice. nice. Ah, it's better than the last house, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Who's that with the dark hair? Aubrey. Aubrey. Uh-oh. My hair is brown and fabulous, I might add. You look like you got a wig on, just to be perfectly honest. <laughs> you got a, a bootleg wig on. <laughs> hey, Aubrey, what's up? I heard about your boyfriend. What's his name? John. John? Yeah. You think that's going to last? Yes. Who else has a boyfriend? You better raise that hand. Let me all do. When did this happen? Y'all didn't have boyfriends the last time I, was, I saw y'all? Yeah, we did. Andrea. Yeah. What's his name? His name is Rudy. He's a producer. A producer of what? A music. You know he's definitely a rap, right? No, he's not. Y'all are gonna be the sexiest female group to ever live. I don't, I don't think these guys are really ready for the long haul. Mine is. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I'm with you on that. He's in. He's not a rat. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all get rest your tired though, right? If we recording, we're not we're tired. Not tired. <laughs> recording? Y'all ain't get to the recording phase yet. Oh man. Uh, I'm glad that y'all are here. Hopefully, I'll see y'all this weekend. Y'all, y'all want to take me to lunch or dinner or something? <laughs> Do you want to take us yeah. to lunch or dinner or something? Yeah, but I asked first. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. So it's late night, everyone's getting ready to go to sleep. And all I heard was... Ah! What's that? There's a mouse in there. We have a visitor. Bible is in the house. Because I'm not scared of a little mouse. Ah, look at that, dude! What if it's in my bed? I hate mice. I need to get mouse trapped. You girls do have beautiful voices. Can we make love? They have beautiful voices with potential. I have brought one of the greatest voices in the world, Betty Wright. So she's gonna come in and give the girls the technique but also teach them about that inner spirit, that soul, that's going to make them different than anybody else out there. Okay, you already sang for me? Yeah. Okay, get in your positions. She has had this huge career selling all kinds of records, just plenty of Grammys. She's worked with so many different people, Erica Badu, Usher, Andy Stone. I actually like grew up listening to a lot of her. Love. Love. Hold on, hold on. Are you, are you cutting it off in time to hear the next note? No. 
You're using too much legato on the last note. Say. Separate. Sky. Watch your pitch. Sky. Watch your timing. Baby, 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 everybody sing now. Baby, 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 watch your timing. Baby, 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 Great, great, it's getting better. Baby, 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 baby. The next thing we know, Diddy comes in. Yeah. Ladies, 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 ladies. Let's see what they have, Betty. And it's like we all go. You. 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 Okay, stop it. It don't sound good. Did you shake yourself for a minute? Because I don't know why when, when he's not here, y'all sing. Because it, it's important to say what he is. It's real important. Say, say, say. Stop. I wouldn't want nobody to hear y'all sound like that. You all need work. Shannon, you need more work than everybody. Sounding real, real inconsistent, real shaky baky, and really not good at all. I don't care how far you gotta grow, but you have to know that right now you're at the last spot on the team. As far as in the singing category. And I want you to jump all the way up to number one. I know it's there. I know it's in me, and that's why he's pushing me. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta let it go. You gotta loosen know, up. Gotta... Cause you're gonna I'm gonna throw you the ball. When the pressure's on in front of a hundred thousand and you're just going to crack and break up. There ain't no room to be scared in this thing. I don't feel like I'm scared. I just feel like there's something I just... Yeah, yeah. I, you know, beat myself up about it. Yeah. I'm just like, gosh darn it. See, that's my problem. Gosh darn it. Nah, that's... <laughs> you said, no, no, no. That's a good example. You said, gosh darn it, comfortably. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I... I knew you. I felt like I was in your house when you said, gosh darn it. Because that's you? Because that was you. You know what I'm saying? Really I'm not trying to make you say, yo, that's what's up, you know, pumping. You know what I'm mean? saying? I want you to say, you know, gosh darn it or whatever you feel. Ah, I just want to scream and break out of myself, you know? Well, whatever you got to do, you got to do it because it's like you're scared. I can't take it anymore, so desperate measures are being taken. I'm calling the exterminator. If you can hear me, clap one. You scared to clap? Okay. If you can hear me, clap once. If you can hear me, clap twice. Okay, that's just to get your attention, because you know five girls, woo! I know y'all can talk. <laughs> oh, 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 Okay, you heard your last one? Yeah. Try it again. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. You tense. I know. What is it? And your eyes are, are, are shiny like, you know, you just, you know, you just tense. Shake yourself, shake yourself. Shake yourself. I try sometimes to be perfect at the very first try. Because I try to be perfect on the first try, I actually hold back for fear of letting go all the way and not being perfect. Whatever the timidity is. Well, once you get things that you can rely on, you will find yourself. But you gotta, you gotta give it your all, cause it's not gonna come to you. Mm -hmm. You gotta go get it. You got to go get it. How are you sounding? Are you sounding better? 
you know, we talk about singing, like, with feeling, and, you know, I've been working on that at home and stuff, you know? Yeah. You know, it's still, like, seeing it like you mean it, and I, I, I really feel like I do sometimes, and I'm like... If you think about whatever you're singing, right? Think about what are the words that mean have meaning to you. It's a love song. It's the words are like "I love you." You can focus on love, right? Because that's that's gonna be one of the, that's gonna be the strong part to get the message across. See, that's what they try and that's what they tell you to do. Those think about that person, but then I think about it and I'm thinking about it and I really mean it. But it's, it's, now it's like getting past that point and being able to, being able to apply it. I agree. It's like all I can do is do my best and. Exterminators here! Happy days, the exterminator is coming. Hey! Aubrey! Hello! I open the door. There's these two sexy guys. Hello! When I first saw them, I was like, Hi! What's your name? Come kill my mice, baby! When you see droppings like this, this is how mice communicate by leaving droppings. Very interesting. How do you know if a, if a mouse is a girl or a boy? A male mouse has what we call scrotums. I'm learning a whole lot today. We are five women living in the house together. All we see is each other. We need some testosterone. Six inches like this, maybe a little bit more. And we got some. <laughs> we always have a second visit. Oh, you have to come back? Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want you to do what? I need love. Most of the evening, it's it's late. Everyone's like, Diddy's in the room. Let me hear what y'all did. Let me hear something that you learned. Come on. Come on, Andre. What y'all been doing these last couple of months? Been walking around signing an autograph, thinking this is a joke. So many fake artists in the industry that think they really want it. Some of them get lucky, some got the right hairdo, but I want this thing to be about talent. And I'm realizing we got way, way more work than I can even imagine. Yo, y'all want to get into the studio? Y'all gonna go to the studio right now. I want you to hear yourself how you sound. As if booing wasn't bad enough, Diddy decides to take us to the studio so that we can hear how awful we sound. Like I'm Daddy, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, You. 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 Bring him in, Betty. about that? How would y'all feel if y'all were me? Upset. Yeah. Let's go back to work. I want you forever. I want you forever. Let me start something. Let me show y'all something real quick. I want you Every time y'all singing this, I want y'all to be on that stage at the Grammys doing your acapella intro because y'all can and y'all want to let everybody in the audience know that y'all could really sing. Do it again. Night is young. I need you forever. I need you forever. I need you forever. Go on, take the lead. I love you forever. 
so you can take it to another place, Dawn. I love you forever. I love you forever. Hey, stop, 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 stop it. Let's go back to the feeling. Let's keep it raw. Sing to whoever you singing to. You singing to God, your mother, your boyfriend. Get lost in it. I want you forever, yes. I want you forever. I want you forever. I don't believe you, Shannon. I don't believe you. So I can't believe them if I don't believe you. Let's go. It's one thing to use a song and know that emotion. But it's different when you're singing a song and you feel that emotion. You don't have to, you know, pretend it's there. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. I need you forever. I ain't gonna play with you, Shannon. You want your group now. You want to get to give yourself. Come on. Team huddle. Stop, stop it. Shannon done dropped the ball. She wanted to break out of that mother shell. You want to get over it. Whatever it is, though, you, you out there now, yeah, do whatever you got to do. But you not going you not going to keep us from the championship. He wants me to be able to connect to the emotion of the song. No one's really been able to tell me how to really do it. No one you can't you can't really just have a regiment that you do. You just got to just Keep digging into yourself. I want your husband to be surprised at what he's seeing up there. Every time I think of real love, I want to cry because it is that. When they cry then, I need to it's say surprising. it. Again. No, no, no. But no, 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 she... well, I need to hear that then. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. I want you forever. I want you forever. I want you forever. See this right here? I love it. Let me see this to get a close. This right here is called Goosebumps. <laughs> All right? Okay. End it with a prayer. Good work, y'all. This is my brand new day starting. How I let go the things that weigh me down. And rob me of the beauty that's to be found. And like all around. You see, there's no need in trying to force it. Because when it comes, it comes. Right? When Diddy left us, I know we were all teary eyed and like emotional. It was almost like a cleansing. <laughs> Like a breakthrough. That's that's how you grow. Right. <laughs> it takes water and sun to make yeah. plants grow, right? If it was sunshine every day, everything would be burnt to a crisp, <laughs> right? Gotta have some water. Water's yeah. a source of life. Yeah. These are your raining days. Take them. So we are doing rehearsals, vocals. We're just practicing with each other. A little lethargic, a little giddy. Next thing we know, Aubrey's like, let's make a prank phone call. And of course, I'm like, no, don't do that. No, 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 no. Hello? Hi, we're this choir up from New York City, and um, we just wanted to sing a little something for you, and we want you to rate us on how well you think we could sell. Hey, what's your name, sir? Glenn. OK, here we go, Glenn. This is an I love Glenn forever number. It's a tribute to you, Glenn. I want Glenn forever. Yeah, that, hey, that was great. How I did think. you like that, Glenn? That was great. Now tell me a number, please. A ten. A ten? So you're easy to please now, Glenn, aren't you? Oh, I don't know. Well, you just gave us a ten. Do you really think that we could take over the pop charts? Oh, I don't know. That's a whole other question. Glenn, do you see us taking over the Pussycat Dolls? Because we don't like them Pussycat Dolls. I don't like any group with the word in it. Bye, Glenn. <laughs> he said 10. <laughs> now he's going to call our number back. What up? Hey, hi. I got some good news. I got some bad news. The good news is that y'all assigned the bad boy. I'm trying my best to make y'all very big stars. The bad news is that y'all about to get a taste of what it is like to be superstars. 
create a schedule for y'all from radio interviews, meetings at the label, to vocal coaching, to working out. And you'll be doing this for the next three days. You probably will be able to get maybe two, three hours of sleep a day. I really need to make sure that y'all can handle this level of pressure. Good luck to y'all. It's six o'clock and hell week begins. Diddy is making us on this 72 hour ridiculous schedule where we eat, sleep, and breathe the life of an artist. And we're prepared. Bring it on, Diddy. Good morning, ladies. I know you guys have come a long way. And just as myself, Diddy, and everybody else, we expect nothing but 110% at all times, right? That's it. That's it. 11, up, 12, 1, 2, 3, 5. Right away, we're heading to dance rehearsals with Lorianne. These 72 hours are going to be really intense. Every single thing that you're going through, I promise you, is only going to make you greater. I know it's frustrating, but trust me, the people that get the shot and don't get broken and forced to find themselves are losing. They're getting 10 minutes out there and they're falling apart. Of course, this is the ultimate test of can you make it in this industry and how hard are you willing to fight and how much can you take? So we have to get through this. I want to hear just some individual riffing. Aubrey. Give me some love. Give me some love. Give me some love. Pitch. Give me some love. I need some love. I need some love. Watch your pitch. I need some love. I need some love. I said I need some love. Now you're self-conscious. I don't want you like that. If any area in my life causes me um, a lot of strife, it's definitely my vocal performance. I said I need some love. <laughs> I've kind of masked that throughout the competition and tried to always maintain a performer's stance in everything that I do, but always knowing in my heart that I felt like very insecure about my singing and very challenged by it. You know, you're trying to make a real record. You know, you're trying to make something for the international market. So you're going to expect more. You want to sing more. You want to dance more in order just to be good enough. I'm mentally preparing myself for our little meeting with Miss Jones tomorrow. We have to do some radio interviews, and that means that we have to visit the infamous Miss Jones. Mm. Here we go. Uh, what is she going to say? Now, we've been to Miss Jones before. What is that material? Uh, it's like a... Uh... Curtain. <laughs> it's old. Why are you laughing at me? Why are you laughing at me? You laughing at me? <laughs> I'm trying to represent, you know, my dream. What are you talking about? <laughs> Like, nobody even knows who you are. Like. We just have to make sure our vocals are on point. And that's going to be the biggest thing they're going to attack. We're all just hoping that she takes it easy on us, which, of course, she's not going to do. Listeners of Miss Jones in the Morning, we have the ladies from the band here. Hello. We want to hear you guys sing. We want to hear. But do a little freestyle on top of this beat. True artists come prepared to freestyle. Love to when we make love the way our body 
body's touch I just can't get enough It's too soon when it's over I know, but y'all took like five, ten minutes just figuring that out. That was nice, though, when y'all got it together. At this point, Miss Jones decided to come up with her own names for the group. The top three names we here at Miss Jones in the Morning have come up with four members of the band are... Number three, Catch a Brick. Oh. <laughs> Number two, Good Luck, Lou. Oh. <laughs> Number I one, did. three, because only three of y'all bitches can sing. Oh. Which three, research? Oh, oh damn. Juanita. Andrea, hey, Dom. All right, well, what do you guys have to say about that? We're getting stones and tomatoes and bricks thrown at us, and it ain't cool. It's not cool to disrespect somebody's craft. We don't need some people feeling good and some people feeling bad about their talent because we're a unit. You know how we all feel pigeonholed in some area? Yeah. Like, Shannon and I are the white girls that can't sing. You have totally taken yourself to another level, and people will see that. It's a little frustrating for me because I want to be recognized to be a legitimate talent and a legitimate part of the group, not some fluff character. Every place but you, you know go what? is always, you're the this, you're the but that. But you know what? It's just so frustrating to constantly <clears throat> be seen as that. In our second day of our 72-hour Diddy challenge, we're all pretty tired. Diddy wants us to get a feel of how many things that you have to do as an artist. Next task is our first big meeting with Atlantic Records, which is who Bad Boy is affiliated with. They're the people that's going to be in charge of our marketing, our media, our sales. I know you guys are tired. We just want to squeeze in a quick little meeting. Andre Harrell is here. The whole Atlantic staff is here. This is a very big crowd of very important people. We're all feeling the pressure as a group. You guys are on the fast track right now. It's not just a TV show. It's definitely you guys as a superstar group. We're trying to keep on a timeline. We have five weeks to finish the album. We need you girls to dig deep and create hits. So in that studio, you just got to be focused on what you're doing. You got to walk in there and fully marry to the producer on that track in that moment. We're not going to accept anything anything but 120 percent we were kind of like oh we've been asking for it guess what now we got it five six seven let's go diddy's having us work with two producers jack knight and shannon and we're going to be starting off writing new songs singing i don't even have to think twice okay. something tells me that you're just right i wanna know you for myself and i can't even listen to nobody there you go. I felt, I felt you. You're a little soft. Oh, oh, I got distracted. Oh. I'm just frustrated. It's a big insecurity of mine to be the pretty white girl that can't sing. I see my feet. So we've been up for a pile 40, 48 hours. We're drained. We're tired. You just gotta remind yourself that I'm doing what I love to do. I asked for this. All of a sudden, I'm feeling sick, Ooh. and it's only getting worse. Nice little smile, good. Why? Why does this have to happen today? Aaron Rock. How you doing? How you doing? I'm Aaron Rock. It's a pleasure. A ladies Puff sent me out, so we could go out tonight. We're going to go network with the DJs and the promoters, and just, you know, have a good time. Tonight, we're going club hopping for business. <laughs> The purpose is to meet the DJs because if you can't get the DJs on your side, you yeah, won't be hearing your music in the club. Y'all remember, I'm D Woods. This is Dawn, Aubrey, Andrea, and Shannon. We're on Bad Boy. Look out for us. We're all over the place, bouncing here and there and everywhere. It's crazy. Say hi to the ultimate female. You're beautiful. 
wasn't feeling well, but I'm like, come on, tough it out, get through this. I'm such a fighter that no obstacle is ever going to stop me, so I'm ready to go, let's do it. Well, we're hungry, we're tired, but it turns out we're not finished just yet. Oh. We have to go to Daddy's house and record. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I seriously, like, I feel like a stove. It's crazy. We're supposed to go record tonight when my throat's really bad, and I want to know that I can go in there and not be scared to belt or whatever. I just really, I don't want to miss out on this opportunity, you know? I'm just thinking, please give me the strength to get through this night. I want to prove myself as a member of this group. That's not your writing skills. Any of y'all write? Who writes? Mm -hmm. This is a golden moment. We're finally getting into the studio with Diddy. That's what we came here to do. I got this track. I'm going to play it for y'all. I want y'all to go into the lounge and start writing. What's, what's wrong with you? I have, like, a crazy fever. I just got sick. You got a fever right now? Yeah. You don't think y'all going to get it? I'm being really careful. Hold on my breath. I'm going to send you home. I'd like to stay. No, you're not going to stay. I need to be here. This is a girl. If you got a fever, I don't even want to take no chance with that. I don't even want the girls to get sick, neither. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk about it when you're better. You got the track? Are you ready? like to be part of the group but I'm not given that option tonight and so I'm going home okay but you're sick though you're sick I understand that but have you been sick and worked yeah okay it's difficult to be this international super group that you want us to be mm -hmm. when we're not working as a team and as a group you don't want to endanger them getting sick right yeah Go, get some rest, and you'll be better tomorrow. Okay. You have something else you want to say? No. Nope. You can say it. I know. I can say whatever I want. I know that. Okay. I always do. Studio. Diddy noticed that I wasn't feeling well and he told me that I needed to go home and not be a part of the writing process with the girls. I'm such a fighter, like being sick is not an excuse for me. We could all potentially get sick at the same time too. You can't go into a studio sick because you're in an enclosed place and there's It'll a bunch of people who are singing. It'll come yeah. out. I mean, that was the first time where I was just really frustrated out of, the, out of the two seasons that I've been here. That was the first time where I was really just like, okay, this is very frustrating for me being in this situation, but... Okay, here we go. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, boom, boom, tap, whoa. Come on. And, and two. Oh. All right, very nice job, girl. We are finally near the end of our 72 hours. We are exhausted. We've met with Atlantic Records. We've written songs with Diddy and Miss Jones at the radio station. They all picked names for our group. They did? Who did? Catch a Brick. Catch a Brick. They said Catch a Brick. <laughs> They said they said three because only three because only three of y'all. No, they, they didn't said say that. People. They said they Shannon and I. They didn't say people. You've got to get a thick skin, you guys. I think that's fantastic. We were laughing. Were you? Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because I feel a little like... swirl coming in this no, room. Yeah, that's what you do. Don't give into the negativity. You may not think you're giving into it, but it it, it, it can fester. I just want to prove that I'm not a pretty white girl. You just be you. It's enough. It's enough. It's enough. Why are you crying? I don't want you to think you're the white girl who can't sing. What kind of lie is that? Take a deep breath in and let that go. What are you going to let go today? Let's have an Oprah moment. My own insecurities. Yeah, I have them too. We all have them. And you know what they are? 
They're just little lies. They're little white lies trying to stop you from fulfilling who you truly are. Don't let them tell you what you're not. They could never say you're the white girl who can't sing, really? Well, how come I hear you sing down? So here's what's gonna happen now. You're gonna go and you're gonna make a fantastic album. You're gonna make hits. And we're gonna do things that only five of you that have come together could possibly do. I feel like we've all been broken down so much that it's taking us to a place that we didn't even know existed in ourselves. It's a very difficult place to be. It's a very honest place to be. And it's a very scary place to be. Welcome to Miami. They say your attitude determines your latitude. I'm high as a flies. I'm relaxing, my feet is up. I'm leaving you here. It's like when Shaq left the lake, it's just a heat it up. I don't like it unless it's... Ladies, ladies, welcome to Miami. Welcome to my kingdom. You don't like it. Enjoying the weather and everything. I don't like it unless it's... Let's have a conversation. I wanted to start off this conversation saying one thing. Um, very, very, very proud of y'all and y'all development. I feel like y'all have, over the last three weeks, really come a long way. And I've been telling y'all that y'all aren't ready to be in the studio yet, that I'm not going to put y'all in there until y'all ready to make a record. And I'm happy to say y'all are ready to make a record. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> very exciting. We're on our way. This is the moment. We've been waiting for it. It's time to make the album, y'all. So your boy Diddy called up a bunch of his friends, some of the top producers in the game. Brian Cox. Yeah, I've known you for a long time. <laughs> Mary J. Blige and Mariah and so on and so on. <laughs> Timbaland. This is crazy. If I started to tell you all the people he's worked with, we'll be here all night. Rodney Jerkins, the same thing. I'm recording, I have to call you back. He just got the new Beyonce single. Real close, come on. This is what the first week is gonna be like. We're gonna start the girls off with Scott Storch. 50 Cent, Dr. Dre. Come on now. Uh, Hello. What up? Oh, you're full out. Yeah. Full out. Shout out to Hi, Andrea. Scott, nice pleasure to meet you. you. So hot, I love it. Scott Storch is like the man. He made the hit Run It by Chris Brown. He made everybody lean back for like a year and a half with Fat Joe's record. I thought my back was gonna break because we just kept leaning back. Ow. Pooh Bear. Yeah, how you doing, Pooh Bear? Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear. <laughs> Pooh Bear is a vocal producer 
before Scott Storch and also a writer, he wrote Caught Up by Usher, which is like my all-time favorite record. And we have the privilege to be able to work with him. We uh, made a little joint for you guys last night. Puff said to keep it a little hard, but have a nice melody on it. And so we came up with this joint. It's on some like down south type of shit. <laughs> messing with it? Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. We are not worthy of the hotness that is coming off of these speakers, and I can't believe this is going to be our record. The whole journey, the whole process we've been on, this is what it's about. It's about getting in that studio and make that record. All the parts you hear, it's like me trying to sound like you guys, so <laughs> like I kind of wrote it so like pretty much everybody can sing. So go have a good time. Mm -hmm. And just have fun. Have fun, OK? Mm -hmm. No pressure. Like the song says, no pressure, no pressure. Okay. Yeah. All right. First, I wanted to work on uh, the hook part and like get everybody like individually to go in and build the hook. Any volunteers? I'm with you. You go first. <laughs> cool. Let's give it a try. Okay. One time, I'm going to take that same attitude mm -hmm. and, and a little bit more laid back and make it a little bit more, more in the pocket, mm -hmm. more staccato. And don't get back at you when I wanna. And I get back at you when I wanna. That was it. Come out. Good job. <laughs> Sleep on it. Sleep on it. The harmony no sleep on it. Sleep on it. Yeah, so after the last one, sleep on it. Sleep on it. Yeah, with the echo, okay? Yeah, okay, cool. Keep on stressing if you wanna. Sleep on it. Sleep on it. On the echo, so it's gonna be like, sleep on it. Sleep on it. Sleep, sleep on it. Sleep on it. Yeah, so the notes is, sleep on it. Sleep on it. There you go. Low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stretch it. There you go. And I'll get back at you when I wanna. Yeah, yeah. Don has a really, really low voice. Don's voice is the lowest out of all of us. She's struggling and it was a little bit out of her range. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's very intense in this situation because it is our first time. We've got the pressure of sounding and blending alike. You know, and also doing all those things that the producer wants us to do and have him not look at us like we're not able to do it. You keep on stressing me. You, you keep on stressing me. Keep on stressing if you want to. that, yeah. You keep on stressing me. You, you keep on stressing me. So you come on. You, you keep on stressing me. You, you, you keep on stressing me. There you go. Unison you keep the harm. On me. You, you keep on stressing me. You keep on stressing me. You, you keep on stressing me. Keep on stressing me. You, you keep on stressing me. You, you keep on stressing me. There you go. Now, when you're going to be an international superstar and you're in Miami, you have to do it like the superstars do it. You need to be able to drive around and, and feel like you're somebody. Oh, man, no, you did. <laughs> so I got one of my first cars in the garage. I'm going to dust it off. It's a little Bentley convertible thing that I have. Hopefully, they'll have fun and they'll get the picture. No one here gets you all the little perks, so you need to double back. Throw that auto in reverse. <laughs>
Andrea can't even see. It's just hair and then steering wheel. DMV gave this girl a license. Don't go any faster than I that. won't. Hey, Damn. Damn. Oh, that's a car. That's a car. My purse on me right now, officer. Registration and interest. Need your ID. You I don't have my purse on me right now. In the state of Florida, you can't sit on the outside. We didn't know. We're, so we're not from here. In California, from? they let us do I'm that. That's California. why we didn't know. That's they, fine. Yeah. If I see you again, thank you, sir. We're sorry. Okay. We didn't know. Okay. Thank, thank you. Sir. Sorry about that, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Go Our boss has the key to the city, sir. Our boss has the key to the city. Hence, we get to sit on the top of our Bentley. So. <laughs> Everybody's gonna sing to that. We didn't go through like each part. We're gonna make sure everybody's comfortable, you know, and see who sounds the most comfortable with each part. It's our second day on the Scotch Storch song. Yesterday we laid down the hook, and today Pooh Bear is assigning the verses and who's singing what part. I might like to get to know you, but I can't hear you right now. Yes. You're competing with the music, but the music's way too loud. Yeah. And you write down your number and slip it to me, but you gotta maneuver discreetly. I don't want my business leaking. People like to run their mouth. Hey. Yes. Perfect. Uh, me and my girlfriends came to do it after working hard all week. We let yeah. go our open toes on and get jazzy. Lounge in the party, but you're trying to make me speak. Yeah. I don't need no pressure from you. Don't need no pressure, no pressure, no. And I don't need no lectures from you. Good job. Come on now. We'll be done with this really quick. You guys are good. I would have liked to hit the table. Ah. I would have loved to hit the dance floor. I would have loved to hit the dance floor, but it's way too crowded right now. Stop. Way too crowded right now. Oh. I would have loved to hit the dance floor, but it's way too crowded right now. Right. Uh, yeah. Way too crowded right now. No, no. Crowded right now. Crowded right now. Yep. I would have loved to hit the dance floor, but it's way too crowded right now. No. Right now. Come on, don't. I'm trying to open up my range because all of the girls seem to do that except for me. So I want to try to reach out of my boundaries and show Diddy that there's more to me than just a lower registered voice. Maybe we'll bump into each other in the future. If you want to yeah. see me, then you'll Once figure. Got him. Almost. Maybe we'll bump into each other in the future. If you want to see me, then you'll figure it out. It's out. Nope. Listen. If you want to see me, then you'll figure it out. If you want to see me, then you'll figure it out. Ricardo. If you want to see me, then you'll figure it out. Come out. Okay. This whole process is intense, and it's just hard to allow yourself to open up and make mistakes because um, you want to put your best foot forward always. Me here from the top. Diddy's presence causes everybody to just kind of like, okay. So when Diddy came in to listen to the track, everybody was kind of like on pins and needles, like, please like it because we love it. real quick. Okay. Have Anita start the song off. Okay. Leave Orby where she's at. 
How about start the second verse? Not doing, try to add this at the end. Okay. And I want to try to write a part for doing, because I don't really like her tone with that. So listen to her tone and then try to come up with some of her for the bridge. Cool. All right. You can't get personal with these parts. We're right. gonna make the best decision for the song. <laughs> it's just my tone, it's not the pitch, right? No, 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 no. It's okay, just a cool. tone. You got a special tone, and that's a great thing. After he hears your voice, he'll be able to write, he's gonna write an incredible bridge for you. And that's where you need to be at anyway, though. I need you to bring it home anyway, though. You know what I'm saying? The place I got everybody at right now is, is you know, we'll try it and see how it feels. Okay. Yeah. You always want to be a part of something, especially if you choose to be a part of a band. And when you're taken away from it or if someone takes your part away, it hurts. I'm not going to be in that song. I'm going to be in the bridge that's not even written. It's OK. I got taken off of it. What are you talking about? Everybody has a verse. I'm not, I have a bridge. That's no, I don't have a verse, but I have the free No, voice. you got the chorus and the ad-libs. You good? We all understand what is going on with the changes. It's a little bit of a ego knocker. He's like, who's that on the first part? I was like, it's me. Who's that on the second part? That's Ari. You. He asked like 10 times who everybody was. I was like, that's Don. You don't know our voices yet. No, he knew when I came in. He was like, can we do something else with Don? Then he tried to make me feel bad. He was like, yeah, well, you know, yeah, it's okay, because you're you going to finish it off. No, honestly, I definitely don't think that like, he was trying Damn. to be, like, rude about it. I think that no, he was saying, he like, you need to bring it home. You have such a different, like... <laughs> who? That's what I have. <laughs> when you sing a verse, I go, who, who, who? I'm the ooh girl. <laughs> I'm going to kick you right Damn. now, because you're pissing me off. <laughs> That's what I have. We're gonna try it differently today, so you get used to different styles and methods of recording. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna feed it to you, okay. so that way it doesn't sound like you're reading. You know what I'm saying? And the bridge on "Sleep On It" has to be rewritten because Diddy came in and he didn't like it. Okay, you ready? Yeah. First line is, yeah, I ain't trying to be rude, but you're the third guy tonight. This came to me like this. <laughs> Here we go. I'm not trying to be rude, but you're the third guy tonight that's keeping me like this. Oh, I ain't trying to be rude. Oh, I ain't trying to. One more time. Ooh. I ain't trying to be rude. I ain't rude. trying to be rude. Close. One more time. I'm going to get it, I promise. Oh, I ain't trying to. Get up on that note, okay? To... Yeah. Here we go. Trying to be cool, and I'm trying to be cool, but they keep on, uh, but the dudes keep grabbing me, they keep on grabbing me. Yep, yeah, these dudes, here we go. But these dudes, it's just hard being exposed and putting yourself out there so that you know people see that you are vulnerable and that you aren't perfect. Oh, god, challenging me, and I'm just struggling not to cry. Hey. Yeah. You're doing good. Just chill. Loosen up. Yeah. Chill out. Don? Yeah. We're just starting, okay? Relax, mama. Relax. Doing good. This is what the studio is for, okay? Yeah. I'm finding that in this situation, when you see a sister down, you fight through all forces to get them back on top. Go. Sell them. Leave me alone. Okay. And I'm trying to be cool, but these dudes keep grabbing me to keep on grabbing me. One more time. I mean, that was good. That felt really, really good, okay? Just watch the mirror. Just a little bit of picture on the end of the mirror. Yeah. Let's grab it. Let's get it. And I'm trying to be cool, but these dudes keep grabbing me. They keep on grabbing me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just felt good. <laughs> Guess what? Yeah. Come on, Dabu. She did what she had to do and squeezed from everywhere, and she got a part, and it sounds amazing. It's my favorite part in the whole song. Good job, young girl. 
Way to push those notes out. You challenged me, and yes. I, I appreciate it. Yes. It's okay to mess up in here. And it shall be done. It's trial and error. I was trying to give it to you, though. I didn't want you to change it. No, nah, you got it. You did good. You didn't give up. There's always challenges, but I think that's the great thing about the studio because you can mess up there. You get better there. You learn what you can and can't do there. I love all of that. I love the whole process. We need a hero. But if we can find one, I will do it myself. I will, I will. It's so nice. We can't work all the time. We need a little fun in our lives. The most important rule is always, always, always have fun. important when you're in Miami, image is everything. You have to have the right car, the right outfit on. Can I try this thing on? Diddy's life story is all about preserving the sexy. My biggest challenge in this group is going to be fighting against the misconceptions of who I am. I always get to play the sexy role. Sometimes I put it on myself, and sometimes it's put on me. Hi. Hi. What you doing? Working. I'm working. I just got home. It's time to say hello. I have been with this guy named Rudy, and we've been together for almost two years now. I really care about him a lot. He's now like my best friend. I miss you. You drunk? No. Did you drink? No. Did you drunk? Rudy. Huh? Stop. Why? Because being away is really hard. When we do talk, it's very quick, and this is what I did today. How are you? I miss you, kind of thing. All right, well, I'm gonna go to sleep, okay? All uh, right, good luck tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. The clock is ticking. We have an album that we want in stores by late August, so we can't miss any deadlines. There's a lot of work to do. Today we're going to be working with Brian Cox, an amazing songwriter producer who's worked with Usher and Mariah and Mary J. When you come in, just don't rush it. Baby. Yeah. Okay. I cannot even believe that Diddy was able to get him for us. I'm really excited. Baby, I've been trying to find whatever's pulling me under. It's got a home to really making me wonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a slow ballad and it's called Ride For You. It's beautiful and is going to be great for our group to record. Being without you, I can't imagine what it takes to get through. I gotta stick with you, my baby. Like the emotion that you got on that joint? Good. Second day, I like that. 
lately I've been trying to find whatever's pulling us under It's got a hole and really making me wonder We ran on time with the rhythm Okay Just, 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 just now support it with that emotion for me okay. Lately I've been trying to find whatever's pulling us under It's got a hole and really making me wonder One time, get into it, give me a little emotion behind it Like you trying to figure it out I've been trying to find a ooh. I've been trying to find me. I've been trying to find whatever's pulling us under. Mm. You just gotta support that thing for me. Okay. I just I, I'm just not getting that emotion. Put a little more attitude in it. Put a little more stank on it or something. You know what I mean? Lately, I've been trying to find whatever's pulling us under. Come on out. I don't really know in the group who's feeling what's going on in this record. Be this record is an emotional joint. You gotta be crying, you gotta be feeling it inside. Me here from the top. Lately, I've been trying to fight whatever's calling the sun. That's you, Andre. Everything sounds great on it. Where's doing that? Leaving was not an option, baby. Never, never. Now don't you believe in love? This one I want her to go and I want her to do a pass to Alibs without you giving it to her. Just do what she feel. Okay. Let me hear, um, Aubrey. Trying to sing. She can't be trying to sing. You can't do that, ma. Y'all got to flow. Y'all got to flow. Y'all in the studio now. I'm gonna give it to your uncut raw. I'm not gonna edit it down for y'all. I'm gonna give it to y'all the way it sounds when I walk in this room. Whoever's feeling this, we're gonna have to step up, make a decision, and focus in on that. We don't have time to try every record with every last person. I got to freak this. You understand what I'm saying? Why are you looking like that? Like you don't know what I'm saying? Like you're scared? Yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? Why are you looking at me like that? You understand what I'm saying? I gotta cry when I hear this. Lately, I've been trying to find whatever's pulling us under. It's not a hole. We're making it wonder. And I heard him say, nothing's ever promised tomorrow or today. Are you watching TV right now? Yes, I am. Hmm. Can you turn it off for a second? Prison break. <laughs> it's like what you wait for all week, huh? Yes. <sighs> I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, so I don't know what time or like when, okay? All right. Love you too. Bye. Being away is really hard. It's hard to keep in contact with, you know, your family and your boyfriend. And I've been having a really hard time with Rudy. What does he think? Uh, well, I mean, lately we haven't really talked. It's just, it's hard because I'm like, I don't even know exactly, like, how I feel about this situation. I mean, he knows what I want and he knows the things that I want to, like, accomplish and stuff. I've wanted this since I was a little kid. And he's like, I don't understand, you know, some days you're just so happy and then some days you just seem so, like, defeated. I'm like, well, that's how I feel sometimes. Aww. This industry, that's why this is hard. It's very confusing. I don't see half the people out there surviving it. the Brian Cox song, Ride For You. Me and Aubrey did the first verse. Every other line, me, her, me, her, me, her. Maybe I've been trying to find whatever's pulling us under. It's got a hold and really making me wonder what it takes to get through. I guess take what you want. As we're listening back to the track, we realize that Aubrey is not on the song anymore. 
she's not happy with my vocal performance. And so I'm not singing on this song, which is hard. Aubrey's part was taken away. She really heard about it. And I understand because I know that would be a feeling that I would feel if it was me. This record that we're gonna get on. We're starting our second Brian Cox song, Handle Me. At this level of recording an album, you really have to focus. We're gonna be doing multiple songs all in one night. I think y'all should keep it with you on the melody and everybody doing their harmony notes up under. It's what you call establishing the sound. That way it sounds like a group. I'm not really singing in this song either. If I give you what you need, all I need is one shot. Woo! You're the best in the world. Have you come in nonstop? All I need is one shot. All right. That's what I'm talking about. In the moment, it's it's very frustrating for me because more than anything my most important thing is to just be a part of the group and feel as one with these girls and when I'm not given that opportunity it's incredibly frustrating Aubrey really felt as if like no one really took her seriously as a vocalist she felt like she wasn't contributing to the group You have a right. No, you do. You do. Else is no, but, uh, no, you're right. You are not wrong. You have every right to feel that way. It's not fair. You four could be a group without me. You don't even need me. I'm not on any other track. I think I disagree with that. I try and sing strong, and I don't get any. Part. It's like, why am I here? What? I, I can go Aubrey. home and do something else. I know. I, I can go do pretty, pretty Aubrey's. You're better than that. You're better than that. I don't feel like I'm still that bad. Let me give you this. Know that you have every right, but take it for what it is and be pissed off at it. But when when it's time, you knock it out the park. There you go, just like that. I feel like there's a lesson in this which I need to learn, but right now it's very frustrating for me because I feel like I can't live as a true artist and I can't express myself the way I want to. It's very... Usually when you have a new group, they work with up-and-coming producers, but this group is down with Diddy. Yeah. You know, I have a lot of friends. It's Rodney Jerkin. It's Ladies. What up? We just got the new Beyonce single, new Mary J. Blige single. Let's go make some hits. All right, so check it. This song, Hold Me Down, I got to give it y'all, because this can be something big for y'all, for real. Rodney Jerkins, he's very chill. He is like the ice in the glass that melts slowly. Let's see, like, who's going to do what. <laughs> Let me get a lyric sheet, Jeff. So deep that I ain't worried, thinking maybe you out there running the streets. Oh, you playing with me so perfectly. I swear you got me convinced you were made for me. Sing it. Anytime, any place, I know you're down. You're the type I can trust to be around. The way you hear me and feel me, got me loving you that much more, really. I don't want to see myself with any other, anyone else, because it's the way I felt. Got me so caught up, I'm stuck on you, so real. Everything I've been missing oh, With you there's no second guessing oh, You and me is a blessing That I can't and just won't let go of. Group question hmm. If y'all had to pick one leader to lead this song Who would it be? I like to say Dre Who do you say? I have Dre, Andrea Dre or D Yeah I would say Dre and then me It's in your register Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright so Dre That's what we gonna go with I don't know, you might want to just hit the booth right now. You tell me there's nothing better than me So you drop me like a hot top, pick up the leg Then you gave me what I need So fly, it was like you planted the sea. You're gonna be all right. 
Sound good. <laughs> Get up there, give me that energy. This is the bridge. Okay. You gotta push though. Mm-hmm. Gotta make it a lot warmer. You're shining real thin on it. Take a nice breath right before you get to it. Same way you hold me here. Okay. Andrea looks like she's trying very hard, and I love that she's trying. You ain't getting ready to let him change the note on you. I'm gonna get it, I swear. I'm gonna... Squeeze your booty cheeks real tight. Squeeze it. <laughs> Here we go. She never wants to be told that she can't do something. She's always constantly fighting because she loves to sing and she loves to perform. Ain't gonna let another come between. Another hold you down the same way you want me. You want me. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea, she's really become such a strong person. And she always had it in her. Her fur was a little burp. And now she's fire. My <laughs> head is convulsing because I'm squeezing so hard. <laughs> Don't squeeze too hard. Hey. Hey, what's up? Where you at? Well, I'm in the car right now with Rob. God damn, dog. Safety first, man. Yeah. Seat belts don't work. Hello? Mm-hmm. I'm actually going to another bar right now. Thankfully, I'm not driving now. Great. So, get going. You can't talk to me for five minutes? Um, yeah, secondhand smoke kills, homie. <laughs> <laughs> So you won't be home for like at least like another like month or something? I don't know why. Because I'm trying to go to Vegas. Will you come out here? Mm, no, I don't think so. You don't have any reason to come out here? No, not really, not right now. I'm gonna go call me tomorrow. Um, oh, I just won't, okay? Aubrey break down at this point because Aubrey's tough. But I understand because if you choose to be a part of a band and when someone takes your part away, it hurts. She feels like she's just an image and nothing more. Meaning like all four of us are a part of it except for her. First of all, it's the producer's record. Sometimes producers and writers lock into a certain voice. Actually, voice Max Martin locked into Nick Carter and Brian Littrell. Mm -hmm. Whoever the producer wants on that or doesn't want on that record, that's the thing. I agree with everything you're saying, I, but I'm, I'm also her sister too, so it's like, I gotta have her back too. Well, I appreciate that, but that's what this is all about. Right. And that's what, somebody has to be the glue. Right. That keeps the whole thing together. This is a unit, this is not a singular thing. All of us deserve chances to show the world that this is why we're here. All right, ladies, Aubrey has had concerns because um, she has recorded on a couple of songs or a couple of verses, and it seems like they've gone on and been either recut or changed. Unfortunately, on the first record as a group, it is the decision at the producer. I can't be going into these guys and saying, so-and-so has to be singing on the song. My concern is, is that if I am on a record and take it off, if I am chosen to do something and it's not right, I want to know how to make it right. All I'm asking is that instead of giving up, I'd like to know how to be better. I don't personally think it's anything wrong with the way you're singing a song. It's just probably your tone and your voice for that particular verse on that particular song. Certain songs will have a certain vibe for your voice. I know it's frustrating, it messes with your emotions, but at the end of the day, you are a group and you represent as one. This is only the second record. We've got many more records to cut before this process is over. So don't, don't let this become something that bigger than it really should be right now. You were all put in this group because you were all great singers. If Puff didn't feel that you could bring something to the studio, you wouldn't be sitting here right now. So, cool.
was told that Diddy wants a couple things added to the Scotch Storch track. He wants Aubrey to give a different flavor on the verses, and then he wants some more backgrounds added to the chorus. I'm gonna have to sleep on it, and I get back at you when I wanna. I'm gonna have to sleep on it, and I get back at you when I wanna. Yeah. You ready? Do you want vibrato on the end of the now? No. Just straight. Right like quick, like, yeah, yeah. We'll try both ways and see what's better. Okay. okay. I would have loved to get to know you better, but I don't hear what you're saying right now. Yeah, more just, just like that one. I would have loved to get to know you better, but I don't hear what you're saying right now. Perfect. Regardless of whatever happens, I feel like my heart is in the group and I'm not going to walk away from this situation and I'm not going to give up on the situation. I'm not going to let anything tear me apart from the situation that I'm always going to persevere no matter what challenge is thrown in my face. I'm always going to find my way back to the group. I Everything that we've gone through, all of these feelings, and how we feel about each other is real. This dream that we've had since we were little girls is probably the greatest time of my life, and you can't really ask for more than that. Hey. How are you doing? Everything good? Okay, I miss you. Like a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Are you tired? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you recording right now? Yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me for a little while longer? I'm making the band. E-I-O. Sorry, you wasn't even trying to get the timing of it. I'm done, I'm through. Like, done being through, like, what's that mean? I'm done, I don't want to be with you. I told her it's... <gasps> Shut up. <laughs> it's very hard to have a relationship when a person's not there, but I feel like he's maybe like, I chose to do this, so therefore that means that I'm the problem. I'm the one who did this. He's trying to find a resolution, like he's trying to find a way to fix it. Yeah. He can't fix the situation, so if it's you, then he can maybe fix because you chose this situation. Yeah. That now is the problem. And then that hurts me because I'm like, I chose this situation, but this is something that I've wanted to do my entire life. I try to be as much as supportive as I can with him. I need the same thing. When I do talk to him, like a lot of times it's like I'm unhappy with something or I'm mad about something. And a lot of times it's just like I just need you to just sit there and like let me vent. I think it probably just bothers him that he can't help you. He doesn't know how to help you. He feels like his hands high. And he doesn't know what. He doesn't know what's going on. This sucks. Ladies. Hey. Awesome.
Uh, Rob Lewis, he'll be helping us get ready for performing our songs live. What I would want to make sure that you all are ready for is the road. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because after the record comes the live tours and stuff. He's worked with many A-list people, including Christina Aguilera. Babyface, Brian McKnight, Rob Lewis. He is so hot. You all are not just going to do big shows with big stages and dancers, and it's going to be like that. Like, sometimes you all are going to need to do showcases. It's going to be like in a room like this. It's going to be like, well, show us what you got. The ballad that we are doing, I absolutely love. Do you hear me? Baby, we gotta believe in the things that make you and me win together. It is about when you're in a relationship for a while and it's getting really hard and you're saying, we can get through this and I want to ride with you till the end. By your side. Definitely feel the song. Put some on that ride. Ride, ride. ride yeah, ride for you, baby. Ride for you, yeah. Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stay down and ride for you, baby. As a group, you all have to hear each other and blend in with each other. Even though you all have your own individual emotion, you gotta get a unison emotion. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful record. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful record. All right, so look, we'll pick this up later. That sound great, though. So we're gonna start in the original key. So do three times in each but before you modulate, okay? Both Ready, JD? time with Rudy you know it's really hard to make yourself happy as well as another person when you're you're not you're so far away and you don't get to see them maybe we should stand up one two three and Ooh. Like nobody is fully committing to the exercise and you know, we're not really giving each other eye contact what, what I was sensing from you is like you wasn't even trying to get the timing of it let's do it again let's get this sucker on the road first I don't know you like Dre and we'll come we should be able to pick up wherever you start yeah. true true things are when I come over here. Like, you know that it's not as easy to get to a phone. It's not... See, the thing is, I don't, like, I don't buy that. Like, because there's only five girls. Yeah, even if there's only five girls, ask them how many times they've talked to their boyfriends or how many times they've touched, you know what I mean? Like, they talk to their families. Like, we really... To be honest like, with you, I don't, I couldn't care less how much they talk to their boyfriend. And you know what? It's all trivial now. Like, it's, it's, to me, it's, I'm numb to it. So, that's where I'm at. Do you have anything to say? I mean, what do you want to tell you? Like, half the time I feel like I don't even know, like, if I, 
if like we should talk. It just I'm telling you, like it just Why? makes because it just we don't talk how we usually talk. We just like kinda hey That's exactly it. This so is what are we holding on to? What everything I about this is well, the fact that that's not, it's not gonna be like that. The fact that you it's know what? not the always thing like is that. that like, you know what the thing is? That this is where I've seen the true colors. Like I don't care how it's gonna be. The fact that you didn't put in the effort right now is what bugs me. How and like I, I not said, put I'm not the effort because I didn't call you last night when I went to sleep. I already said you're 100 right. percent phony. Like, what? You're 100 percent phony. I mean, if that's how you want to feel, then that's how you want to feel. That's like, how it is. <sighs> I'm done. I'm through. Okay. Okay. I mean, what? Like, done being through. Like, what's that mean? I'm done. I don't want to be with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. She just can't, she just ran in the bathroom, pissed out on the floor. I was like, how s selfish of him. He's always been selfish, come on. Yeah, that guy's an ass. How selfish of him, like, like in a situation she said he was she selfish, in yeah. the jump. Yeah. And she was defending him, and I was like. She always does. She always looks for the best, so. I told her, I was like, the minute you go back home, he's gonna see you, and it's gonna be another story, but you gotta. Decide, do you want to? She's too good for that. Yeah, do you want to go back and forth with somebody like that? This isn't getting any easier. No, seriously. If anyone's boyfriends are complaining at this point, yeah, it's over. Yeah. We're over our pot and we're brewing up. We're brewing up so we were like witches right now. <laughs> we were just saying how he's he's stupid, right? Yeah. He's really stupid. He just really <laughs> let go of a the very good piece of stock well, he right knows that too. you're on okay. your way up <laughs> well he just sprung us on the blue dryer he, no he he, i mean it. he's i think he's been like since the day I left he's been like you are holding your head you said you would call are yeah. you serious right now i've called you plenty of times and you've been like i haven't even talked to him in three days because he's been working mm. but you have been understanding about it so that is a bunch of bull from day one he's chosen not to agree with us though yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've yet to see or feel or hear that he's put an effort in on his half. He just keeps turning it on you. Yeah. It's just, I think it's just a bunch of things now all, like, coming together. Coming together. It doesn't have anything to do with, like, how we feel about each other. Like, I know, like, how he feels about me, and I know. You know what I mean? I know my mom always says, love, love is only half the battle. Yeah, it's not uh -huh. enough. Like, love is not enough. Yeah. It's so much more than that in any situation. Good to see y'all. So guess what? What? I'll take y'all to my man Ron Grant's spot at the Village Underground. Yay! You all are performing. The Village Underground is one of the most popular open mic spots. This is where all the singers come out. <laughs> Not the singers, the singers. <laughs> the first time that we are performing our own song. So I'm a little nervous, but you know, I always say a little bit of nerves are healthy. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a good friend of mine in the house. He's an excellent producer, musician, arranger. Could y'all show some love for my man Rob Lewis, y'all? It's no place on earth like the Village Underground on Sunday nights. All right. I've been fortunate enough to work with five beautiful, talented 
young ladies who are living their dream. And I want you all to show your love for Aubrey, Andrea, Shannon, D. Woods, and Dawn. This is MTV's Making the Band. What up, Diddy? Hello, hello, hello. We are so happy to be here. From the bottom of our hearts, we say thank you and we love you. confident that bring it on we can do this this is what we were made for this is our opportunity to show everybody that we worked really hard to get here now watch it and see this is my priority this group and if there isn't going to be someone who's going to support me in in this then i probably shouldn't be with them and they're not the right right person for me you all did a great job tonight you all have accomplished a lot. Y'all need to be proud of yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not easy to perform live band, no rehearsal, down in Concord, New York. This is the spot right here. I'm learning a lot about myself, and there'll be someone else for me. So while we're in L.A., we're going to be doing some publicity. We're going to be going to the radio stations, and the best part, we're going to be making our very first video. There's a house with lots of lights up there. Look at see all the lights? That's the one? There is no way we're living there. Why would they waste that on us? Honey, speak for yourself. You can waste it way on me. Give me the big house at the top of the hill. Look at that view. Wow. Is this the house? Oh. As usual, Diddy's done it again with a beautiful house in L.A. She looks pretty. Make way for the S.O.V. <gasps> So real, I think we're just kind of shocked. Like, wow, this is how we live in. This beats New York. She's mine. She's all mine. Okay, okay let's go today. Good night, LA. See you tomorrow. Y'all come back. Now you're here. Oh. <laughs> oh. We have a lot to do here. It's not just a fun and play thing in LA because we have a group name now. It's Danity Kane. So we really, really have to start promoting it and our album and our new single, Showstopper, so that we can be number one on the chart. This afternoon, we're going to our radio forum, which is 50 radio stations all in the same room, and we're going to hit all of them. 102 Jazz, live on the streets of LA. And I'm holding it down for your party station out here in a major way, Wild 98.7. B103 backstage in the shrine. Danny McCain in the building. Hey. It's going to be a lot of talking. It's going to be a lot of smiling and cheesing and selling our personalities. They all ask us the very same question. Why are you coming to name it? Danny McCain. Vanity Kane. Vanity Kane. That name kind of took people by surprise. How did y'all come up with that and what does that mean? 
We were looking for a name that we could define, something that we could define, not it define us. And we were in the studio and we were recording and actually I was drawing like a, just uh -huh. a superhero character. And Diddy walked by and was like, does that character have a name? And I was like, Danity King. Danity King is a character that I created. She's just like a superhero kind of girl. She's like what represents your alter ego. We just wanted something that could be a combination of all of us, combination of all of us, combination of all of us under one name. So what does Danity King mean? It's us. People, take it, take it as it is. You know what Coldplay means? You know what Lincoln Park means? You know what Hoobastank means? Just take it. So y'all new single about to pop off, right? Yeah. Yes. Can we get a sample of what it's gonna be like? We show stopping, we show show stopping, we show stopping, we show show stopping. That's how we keep it popping. Make sure the bass knocking. So when you see us rotting, we call it show stopping. Y'all hear it here first? What did you think? Just sold right there. It's over. Uh, we're getting all kinds of love. They've moved up in the world. They're not making the bad for anymore. Now they're superstars. We're living our dream. We finally made it to a place where people know who we are and they respect us for the artists that we are. And it took a long time to get that. And it feels hella good. We look forward to seeing you all over the TV. to our rehearsal with Lorianne and we're gonna shoot the video tomorrow. The tension's on, we're ready to go. All right, so y'all wanna show me what you've been doing? Don't mess up, get it right now, feel it, live it, love it. We in the car, we ride slow, we doing things that the girls don't do. Yeah, show seven in the last one, three in the back, one in the As far as the look goes for our video, it's a sexy, hip-hop, funky vibe. Juanita, show me who you think you are with this record. Dawn does the bridge. Do you do any ad-libs? No, I think I do. I, I, we don't. We've never heard this version, so we don't. You guys know. haven't heard this version before. There's been a, f a few, few versions floating around. Do you know what version you're working to? Does anybody have a copy it's of it? It's this I'm one. assuming it's this. I think this is the version that we're using. Is it? I think. Our schedule this week is packed with events and appearances. Unfortunately, we haven't really gotten to our choreography. So you guys know I'm mad at you, right? Hi. Lorianne wanted us to be more prepared. She was like, Whoa! When you go to that video set tomorrow, and I know it's your first video, but it's a bunch of bull crap. Everybody on the set is gonna buy into the hype. You're gonna hit your mark, and then what are you gonna do? Sit there and tell the world a story that you never had time. I'm just saying. They're not gonna care what it could be till you freaking hit a brick wall and you're going down in flames. We don't have the full routine together. There's a few pieces here and there. Basically, there's a lot of work to do and about this much time. We're not a stripper. Stripper's done. Give me the first part again. And one. Hydraulics make our heads go and Blowing in the breeze, yo, we superstar. Oh. Let's go again. You're gonna move. Put in the keys, make that engine purr. Okay, so purr, come out, purr is gonna go here. Make the engine purr. Keep it moving. The only thing I need from you guys is to not be distracted when you get on that set. Mm -hmm. Don't let the gas train kick in. 
Yeah. yeah. So let's just commit to it. We'll get to that video that you want. But don't get there and flip out on me. Right. Great. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> what does Danity Kane mean? So today is our very first video. We're going to be making it all day, probably into the wee wee hours. It's craziness. We finally arrive on set, and this whole video shoot is on such a large scale with the lights and the cameras and the crowds of people. It's like, girls, look around you right now. I'm like, this is for us. The director of our video is Jesse Torero. He's done countless videos, just about all the videos that you might see on, you know, Sucker Free Sunday or MTV. He might have directed. cameras everywhere. We have Puffy's camera, we have the documentary cameras, we have our cameras. It was a mess. Hi, Gord. Stay focused, we're late. Let me be the first one to introduce you to Danny Kane's very first video. We're totally excited. Making the video is here. Making the video. We got it. I'm so excited. I watch it all the time and I'm like, I'm just hamming it up in those cameras like, excuse me, I'm over here. This is our manager, Johnny Wright, and we're his favorite artist that he That's represents, right. Justin right. and Janet. That's right. Kind of course today. Oh, yeah, it's a blessing. When you experience something where your artists are that they've dreamed about all their life, and now it's coming true, it's like... You know, I feel like an expected father just waiting to see this thing happen. But at the end of the day, whatever happens, we've been waiting for this experience for three seasons. Three seasons. This is going to be hot if we could just start shooting. It's We're almost four o'clock. This was supposed to start at two. So the way I see it, the clock is running. This is going to be the longest one day oh, video oh, in history gosh. of videos. Ladies, give me your please. Stand by. This will be picture. Rose out. Parker. Our video goes like this. We're in the studio and we're listening to our music. And Diddy says, "That's what I'm talking about, y'all. That's a smash right there. It's gonna be crazy in the clubs. I'm do it again." <laughs> <laughs> Come on, restart. Yo, ladies, that's a hit. That's right, baby. We're looking at him like, this is not the titty we know. Boom! Boom! You want it to be real? Let's give them a little bit of what it really is. All right, rehearsal's up and action. And that's what I'm talking about, y'all. All right, tomorrow, same time, same place. Y'all go home, y'all get some sleep. Going straight to bed. <laughs> <laughs> but instead we rebel and we go out on the town and we ride around in fancy cars and we just show stop, baby. Please. The next part of the video is us in a candy painted car and she's way gorgeous. She has Louis Vuitton interior. I don't I feel like I'm gonna scratch it. Scratch it by. Oh no! We're on top of this wood thing to make it look like we're driving, but we're not really driving. You guys are cruising, having a good time. Guys are going to be passing, you know, the cars are getting passing, you checking people out. We in the car, we ride slow, we doing things that the girls don't do. We're on Hollywood Boulevard in this crazy, amazing car. Camera's going back and forth. Me and Dom are just like, this is so cool. Everyone on the streets is like, is that making the bad girls? And everyone was screaming and there was so much attention on us. That moment was larger than us. It felt surreal that we've watched videos, we might have been in other people's videos, but this is ours and it's all about us. It was a really, it was really cool. Bye, y'all! Oh, this is the ninth inning, and remember, we've got to stay positive. Keep it up. You have a big picture in mind. Ooh, she's a bright light. Yes, no. The next thing we do, D has to actually drive the car, and that's where the issues start. Our car keeps dying. The battery is turning off. 
<laughs> we have to keep cutting because it keeps dying. <laughs> She's still beautiful though. This is when we're just show stopping fabulous. <laughs> we just got done riding on our car down Hollywood Boulevard. So it's crazy. It was crazy. We had like real fans out there that were like recognizing us. So and everyone was dancing. It was cool. It felt good. It's like okay, the people are probably are actually really listening to our song right now and we're singing to it. <gasps> All of this is a pinch me moment. Yeah. We're at the parking lot right now, and it's like, you know, where everybody goes. No, Wait, what are we gonna do? Goes. Say it again? We're gonna stop, stop the show. Because we are because show, we're show stoppers. stoppers. And we do it deadly with Louis Vuitton seats. We love to dance, and it's it's great choreography. It's hot choreography by Lorianne Gibson. Yeah, she put together some moves for us, gave us a vibe off of what we naturally do, and that's like her unique style of choreography. Like she'll take what you have, you know, instinctively, and just you know amplify it to make it look that much better on on screen. We were trained to sing and dance all the way through a show. No lip singing. No half the time we don't even perform with backgrounds on our on our tracks, which that's is very typical. Of it. That's the fun part yeah. of it. Is getting you know the singing and the dancing and bringing it together. Yo, can you call them? Crash! They're here, let's, let's go, let's go. No talking, no fixing. Please, what else do you need? This is wrong? They need to zone out, they need to zone out. They need to zone out. It's not about the beauty right now, it's about who you are. You look over. Zone out. Zone out. No words, time, time I, crunch. Yes, I gave the grunge crunch, we good. There ain't no time for we, no bull. Yeah, they gotta got come. I drag the come heavy, good. right away, right. hardcore. Okay, let's let's do it. This is the last shot of the night. And we're excited. Yo, 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 let's go. There's no training to prepare you for a night like this. We've been thankful to have a great team um, working with us from our manager, Johnny Wright, to Lorianne Gibson, who's our choreographer, who has who basically got us to this point. I mean, the choreography in this video that we're going to do is going to be sick. So I think from beating us up every day in the studio to Diddy telling us run 17 million miles, I think at the end of the day, it all Again, prepared us because we have good legs and <laughs> we can take a punch. I'm real proud of these girls. They worked real hard, came a long way. Great job, y'all. Hey. hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. It's a wrap. Y'all gotta watch it. Now, boy, right your boy, your boy Diddy, showstopper. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. yeah. We're back in New York. We have our final performance coming up straight to you. Yeah. We are doing our first live show as Danity Kane. <laughs> and we have a special treat. Boys. Lord have mercy. <laughs> The boys are throwing us around and touching us a lot and dancing behind us and it's just tons of fun. He's my lover and Ryan is my husband. <laughs> You're fantasizing. <laughs> Why the black boy gotta be the lover? I'm always a lover. I'm never the husband. <laughs> You're gonna try <laughs> me. <laughs> Man, wait, that's <laughs> But when you're singing something that intimate, you're a little stiff. I mean, I want you to be cool with it, but you got to be a little more fluid, even if it's just your eyes. Let me tell you, show you how powerful a stand can be. Just singing a ballad. You see how this can become the main thing. Mm -hmm. You see? see what you, you, you see what I'm saying? What you missing? No, I'm just telling you. That's old school. I'm just telling you. I wasn't always 52, baby. <laughs> We're on our way to the venue, and we're excited. <laughs> Woo! Bask in it! Look at 
Look at your backdrop. Our performance venue is a park in Brooklyn, and it is ridiculous. We have the Brooklyn Bridge as our backdrop. It's absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait to see what it's going to look like with everything set up. It's going to be beautiful. Great day for a show. Let's go. I'm proud of you guys. You've come a long way. That's what it's all about. We're going to have our final show, first concert in front of a lot of people. Our album is coming out in two weeks. This is a dream and a blessing. So at this point, we all should just say amen. Amen. <laughs> It was a little breezy, and I think that we were a little concerned that the weather gods were not in our favor. I felt like there was a tornado coming. I thought my weave was going to come out. It was a little bit too much. All of a sudden, it starts raining. They tell us we have to move into the trailer because it's not safe outside. Well, guys. This is truly an unexpected thing. I didn't know it was going to be. Okay. Ah. And so the board, the sound board is gone. It's destroyed. This is so dramatic right now. There's thousands of people coming out to see our show, and it's just like. All right, ladies, listen up. Listen up. One situation is the lighting board and the mix board got rained on, it's gone. The props are messed up because of the wind, and the probability is that it's not going to stop raining. So the show's done. No show. Oh, the sun. Yes, the sun has come out tomorrow. show day it is happening birds are chirping trees are blowing in the wind this is a good day this is a good day what up what up what up what up what time is it yeah, are you ready yeah. are you ready yeah. Yeah. good 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 hey, they have some gifts for you guys oh. okay. i watched your rehearsals i was so proud you know what i'm saying I think y'all have come all the way. Y'all have fought to pass my dreams. I watched y'all rehearsals. I was like, these, these, my little babies are up there doing their thing. And I'm proud of y'all, and I love y'all. Y'all came a long way. And I, I'm, I'm so glad I picked y'all to be my band, Danity King. All right? Look, Diddy's smiling. I'm happy. This is for you. This is for you. There's nothing more exciting than getting that turquoise box, I must tell you. <laughs> oh, and there's a six member of the group. If y'all want to rock the house, y'all better win. Somebody help them get this song. It was really strange. He was so nice. I feel like I wasn't used to that. I, I, I don't know. I think maybe we're going to pay for it later or something. <laughs> looking at the girls and I'm really happy that I'm at this point. I've been doing this for so long with these same group of girls, with Diddy, with the whole entire situation that it just feels good. This concert's for our finale of this journey we've been on. It's just a very calm moment. Tonight I feel really excited. I can't wait to get on stage with these four other women and just have fun. About to step out onto the stage. The crowd is screaming. We're feeling the energy. The lights are up. The smoke is going. No turning back now. Put your hands together.
But check this out, y'all. Y'all know two years ago that I started on this journey to try to find a band that I could put together, some young girls that were chasing a dream to be stars. And I found them. New York, please help me in welcoming your newest international superstar female sensation, Danny K.
you want to. You ain't getting it like I'm getting it. You ain't pimping like I'm pimping. Hope you don't think I'm listening. Is this what you sound like? Well, just because you guys have been so loyal and been so awesome standing in this crowd giving us love, we're gonna do something exclusive for you guys from our album, from Timberland. Right now it's called this track. We hope you love it. We're singing it to all of you guys.
Yeah. 